But before I do that reading, I wanted to show you guys some difference in these cards. Let me just put this laptop down right now. So <clears throat> this is the deck that I used uh, this morning, the Albano Weight Tarot. And I, I mentioned that this, were, uh, this is a design that was uh, originated by Pamela Coleman Smith as indicated by her signature. So the same elements, the same drawing is in this card as is in the Pamela Coleman Smith deck, which is right next to it here. I'm gonna talk about that in a second. <clears throat> but they've chosen to color it in differently. You know, they've chosen um, to really make a, a big difference, di difference in the coloration of the sky, the uh, landscape or the horizon and uh, the water. Just everything is quite uh, vividly interpreted on this Alabama weight tarot deck. But look at the uh, original coloring on the Pamela Coleman Swift Rider Weight deck. It's a lot to say. And you'll see that the whole thing is really rather muted. And um, so you have a, an easy transition from here up into what's going to happen uh, on top of this, uh, of this scenario. And, um, and although the, uh, the moon is, is nicely illuminated, it's obscured by the, by the natural uh, darkness of the evening, whereas this is a whole other picture over here. So, unfortunately, I get interrupted by my life from time to time, so we'll continue. Uh, but the Pamela Coleman Smith cards are just a more um, demure uh, representation of what the, the cards mean. Now, they mean, you know, the same thing. They generally, this is the, the hard spoken, these drawings are the hard spoken language of the card. And then the uh, artist interpretations are uh, the more subtle uh, underpinnings of that language, uh, reading between the lines or uh, screaming between the lines sometimes in the contrast. But some, some people might say that this uh, deck like this one, the Witch's Tarot, which is almost cartoonish uh, in some uh, respects, but you know you can't tell me that there's not art, valid art in this card as well, okay? And so um, we're looking at the same representation as we have here in, in this in, in this card, but um, it's it does actually ha have a mystical, magical, subtle, creamy uh, interpretation about it. And then, of course, because it's this witch's tarot, it's got, it, we have the element of the moon, but it's, it's, it's a different part of the moon. You know, it's a, it's a moon that's coming into, into view, um, whereas this is a moon that you might think was disappearing. So, and, uh, and, and this, and this woman here is, is definitely, uh, securely, uh, elegantly, by the way, in charge of her her decisions of her destiny whereas these these images here this those these seem to be a heavy uh, burden uh, weighing on these figures so I mean they're all beautiful cards they're all valid in their own right and um, I love working with them so anyway I'm Mark and this is my journey through tarot thanks for stopping by